Hi all, in this video, let's learn about the difference between the prevent default method and return false in JavaScript. Along with this, we'll also learn about the stop propagation as well. So let's see those things. So firstly, let's understand the things like, for, for example, you have a div here. I'm writing on click event on this div. And inside this div, I'm having an anchor tag where the href I have mentioned some website. Uh, and for that also, I have an on click event. So this is what the structure of the HTML. So what happens here is when you click this anchor tag, okay, what happens? Firstly, this execute children function would be executed. And next, the parent function would be executed. Why the parent function executes, if you executes means you clicked on the children anchor tag. But in JavaScript, we have event bubbling concept, in, which means if you have an event in the children, if you click that event, that is like a bubble where all the events of the, till its parent, every event would be executed. So as per that concept, when you click this anchor tag, first this function of this children is executed and later on this div would be executed. And after that, the uh, URL would be redirected to this website, this to this href. So this is what you in general happens. So let's see that first. So let me go back here. So if I'm, I'm clicking this, so first the children method is executed, it means anchor tag. Next, the parent div is executed, the parent tag, and thereafter it would be redirecting to the URL href which you have mentioned. So that is what in general happens. Fine. Now let's understand what does this prevent default does. Okay. Prevent default is a JavaScript method. So it will be having the events. So where what, the main purpose of this prevent default is it will stop the browser default behavior. What is the browser default behavior here? So redirecting the href. When you click an anchor tag, it will be redirecting to this href. It will be going to this website. This is the default behavior of the browser. What does this prevent default does means? It will stop the, it will prevent the browser default behavior. To do so, what you're going to do is, in this children function, what you'll do is, you will click event dot prevent default. So this is a method you are going to do. Now, what happens if you click this function, this would be executed. This method would be executed. Later on, this parent method would be executed for, as per the event bubbling, but this href won't be redirected. So this is what happens now. Why? Because this event or prevent default is stopping the browser default behavior. Okay, this is what the prevent default. So let's see its output. So I'm closing this link. So if I click this link again, children method executed and parent method executed, and it is not redirecting to the another URL, the href. It means we are preventing the browser default behavior with the help of the prevent default method. This is what happens with the prevent default. Fine. Now here comes prevent stop propagation. What is this stop propagation? Why we use this stop propagation means, okay, now, you have just prevented the default behavior. Stop propagating means this is we use to stop the event bubbling. Okay, event bubbling, why event bubbling happened? You click this children and its parent method is also executing. This is because event bubbling. Now with the help of this stop propagation, what you are doing is you are stopping that bubbling concept here. So when you click this, now what happens is only this function is executed. Okay, it will stop the event bubbling. Okay this method would not be executed. Let's see that. If I click this, only children method would be executed. Thereafter, the parent method would not be executed because you wrote stop propagation. So this is the difference between the prevent default and stop propagation. And now let's see the difference, like what is written false, okay? So let me comment these two now. So let's see. To discuss about the written false, we need to discuss a couple of things. Like for example, written false has three scenarios. In the first scenario, what happens is inline return false. For that, so I'm just commenting these two lines. I want to show the return false. For that, what you do is you will just mention here. If you mention, if you on click, if you mention return false, what does it mean? You want to prevent. So for here you can see inline return false. If you do that, it means you are preventing the browser defaults. Okay, but it will not stop the bubbling. Okay, when you do something like this, what happens? It will prevent the default behavior of this anchor tag. So let's see that. So if I click this, what happens is yes, the parent div is executed because bubbling is there. Okay, that is the reason parent method is executed. 
but children method is not executed and also the default method for example the default behavior is also gone like browser default behavior of redirecting to href is also gone with the help of this return false while you are discussing about the return false you need to learn three things first thing is inline return false when you keep inline like this written false whenever an on click happen if you are keeping something like this it will pre prevent the browser default it means it will act same as a prevent default okay this is the one scenario one use case so the other thing is if you keep written false in any of the method like this this is, this does nothing so this is the third point we are going to discuss if you mention that written second point if you mention written false in any of the method it does nothing because it doesn't have any special meaning there okay it just written false to the method who is calling this execute children so now this is a second one now let's discuss about the third point this written false has a different meaning in jquery it does a both both means it will act as a prevent default and stop propagation if you use written false in jquery not in normal javascript for example for that reason i have included this j jquery cdn okay and now let's comment these methods first okay now let's open this these methods so this is related to the jquery code this is like we are adding we are catching that anchor tag and we are adding some click event to that and when that method is clicked this is executed this is what we wrote okay now let's see how it works so if i click this jquery return false example so we are learning that so now here also the propagation happened and the, it is redirecting everything happened okay we are not yet done the return false what happened the children method executed parent method executed and it is also happily redirecting to this href now if you write return false here in the jquery what happens it does the same both the things so for example what the both the things it will act as a prevent default and also it will act as a stop propagation it means it will stop the default browser behavior and also it will stop the event bubbling as well but this will be happen in the jquery not in a normal javascript if you write that in a normal javascript it has nothing to do it will just return false to the method which is calling but now if you write the return false in a jquery it will give you both the it will stop the prevent browser defaults and also it will stop the event bubbling as well so let's see that so if i click this see only this method the anchor tag is executed bubbling was stopped and also it is not redirecting to the next link it means it is preventing the browser default so these are the differences between the return false stop propagation and prevent default hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos